Hello, welcome again to the city of Stuttgart in the south of Germany. It's the middle of summer and we took the opportunity to go for a short walk through one of the most magnificent parks in the city. This is the Zuan Botanical Park, Wilhelma. The park is huge. And on our channel we have several videos showing you different parts of it. This time will not be the exception and we will show more of some of the different sections. This is the greenhouse and flower exhibition inside the park. Here you will find one of the largest collections of cacti in all of Germany. The variety is incredible, specimens that I'm sure you've never seen. Many of them of extraordinary sizes. If you continue walking you will find inside this greenhouse different sections with plants brought from different parts of the world and from very different climates, so the air conditioning of the place is quite complex, especially because the entire exhibition is of flowers and plants from tropical and humid climates, very different from the climate of Germany. Among the collections that draw the most attention is the collection of different chili plants, a variety that is difficult to find. All kinds of chilies are on display here, around banana plants, palm trees and ferns, and even small fish tanks with a collection of koi fish that enchants all visitors. Plants from areas such as Australia and Africa, including carnivorous plants, and in addition, a collection of tropical birds cannot be missed, which, in addition to decorating the place, add atmosphere to all the rooms with their songs. The entire greenhouse can be completed in about half an hour. Even more if you are interested in knowing details of the different species within the collection. The atmosphere is extremely pleasant, walking on a small path among all the vegetation, changing from one room to another, between high and low ceilings. A combination of colors and smells that you will enjoy. Now we move on to one of the most impressive attractions in the entire park. The Central Garden of the Palace, also known as the Magnolia Garden. This garden is very special and historic. Built from the beginning of the park by order of King Wilhelm I during the reign of the early 1800s. Its corridors are still well preserved in a Mediterranean style, inspired by architecture from North Africa. The amount of flowers in its corridors is impressive. A collection of magnolia trees that bloom at the beginning of spring and several water fountains that give it an even more incomparable touch of elegance. Although the palace was partially destroyed during the Second World War, it was rebuilt as much as possible with the same original design, a little less complex but with the same concept and with the main sections from when the king built it. If you would like to know more information about this palace, we invite you to visit our travel blog, www.travelstuttgart.com. I leave the link below in the description of this video. There you will find a lot of historical information, photographs and any curiosity to know more about this place. Highly recommended if you plan to visit it in the next few days, so you will have a better idea of what to expect. In addition to finding information on how to get there and prices. You can also subscribe to this channel. In the list of videos you will find other videos of this destination, other sections or parts. Remember that the visit to this place can take you all day. It is quite large to be shown completely in a video. The change of scenery is very well designed within the park. 
the adaptation of the areas for the different types of animals has been carried out very efficiently, very good environmental and architectural design. Between ponds of water with fish of all kinds, paths and bridges with incredible views, birds, and animals that coexist with each other. All the areas both indoors and outdoors are maintained to perfection. One of the parts that is also very popular is the mammoth tree forest, a collection of pine species, brought exclusively from California by King Wilhelm. These trees were planted throughout the region of Wurttemberg, so it is relatively common to find them in the different forests, so within the park they could not be missing. A perfect place to have a picnic and rest under the shade of these impressive trees. This time we did the tour in about 3 hours. We didn't manage to get to the end. We returned again to what is the palace garden since it is one of the most comfortable places to rest. Between its corridors and hallways, inside and outside you find different benches to rest, also public bathrooms. And sitting next to the fountains is undoubtedly a great experience of tranquility that you can share with your partner or family. this time of year, in the middle of summer. It is very nice to appreciate the fauna of the place, but especially in the main fountain, which is in the middle of the garden. The variety of plants that grow, with their leaves floating on the water, of all kinds of size and species. Some quite large and others with beautiful flowers. The birds take advantage to rest on the water and hydrate themselves. A very pleasant scene that you can only appreciate during the summer since they only grow at this time of year. Once again, and before we say goodbye, our invitation is open, if you want to know more about this place or many more destinations in Germany and especially this southern region in the area of the city of Stuttgart in the state of Baden-Württemberg, you can visit our travel blog, www.travelstuttgart.com. There you will find a lot of information that will undoubtedly interest you, both national and also many more destinations inside and outside Europe. Here we enter one of the very special exhibitions within the park. This section is called the Amazons. A completely enclosed and air-conditioned area to house a large collection of plants and animals brought exclusively from the Amazon area in the heart of South America. The great variety of species, both monkeys and insects, within this tropical, humid and warm environment, 
makes it an inexplicable experience, like entering a jungle. With the sounds of the birds and the sound of the waterfalls and the artificial river that forms a pond between the paths that run through the entire exhibition. Truly a great experience, especially in winter, where the contrast with the outside is more evident. If you would like to know more information about this palace, we invite you to visit our travel blog, www.travelstuttgart.com. I leave the link below in the description of this video. We also invite you to subscribe to this channel. We upload videos almost every week with different destinations. With the last images, I say goodbye and see you next time with a new video. See you later.